want to talk a little bit on this tripod cast about our image. You know, in my latest book, The Do's and Don'ts of Contract Cleaning, from one who did and didn't, I talk quite a bit about image. And uh, because that's something that's always been extremely important to me. You know, see, the image isn't just who you are right now or what you're saying right now, but your, your image is also uniforms. Let me ask you about that. Your uniforms, are they clean? Do they have holes in them? What about your equipment? Uh, do you have the equipment in the janitorial closet that is uh, uh, got stripper all over the floor machine? Or the bag is so full that it won't pick up in the vacuum cleaner anymore? What about your janitor's closet? How does it look? You know, I, uh, I had a customer for years who, uh, who had a saying that never left my mind. He said, you know, I'm giving you this janitor's closet, and I always look in there every day. And I feel this way. If you can't keep a janitor's closet clean, which is an 8 by 10 or a 6 by 6 or whatever size, if you can't keep that clean, how in the world can you keep my building clean? And he was right. So let me ask you to go look at your janitor's closets. How do they look? How is the image that you're projecting to the to the world, to the uh, to the competitors that come looking, <laughs> come nosing around in your in the closet, or to your customer. Of course, if the competitors nosing around in the closet means you may be in a little bit of trouble in that account, so you probably don't want that competitor in there. But what about your vehicles? What about that? They're a reflection of your professionalism. How do they look? Are they rusted out? I, I never can understand this. You look at some of the some of the janitorial services that drive around in their vehicles, and they are the worst-looking vehicles on the road today. And these are the people who are being asked to keep things clean. Uh, that was another one of the things that I was a fanatic about. You know, open up the truck, and here come the McDonald wrappers or the Wendy wrappers or the used-up, uh, half-used. Uh, uh, French fries, you know, or a, half a, or a half a container of French fries. Or you look in the back and things are just thrown in the truck. The signs peeling off on the side. So that's another big, big image item. What about your office? How does it look when people come walking in the door? Is it, is it the kind of office that says we're in the cleaning business? Uh, when people walk in to put in an application, the, are the cobwebs hanging down the door? Has the vacuum not been run over the carpet for a while? Are there spots on the carpet? These are all appearance things that are image. What if a customer walked in your office today? What if a prospective customer walked in your office today? What would they see? How about the grounds around your building? Mowed the lawn lately? What about the signage on your building? Is it neat? Does it say what it needs to say? Half the bulbs burned out, or do you even have bulbs? Has it, does it need to be re, the sign need to be repainted? So how about yourself? How about you? How you're dressing? How do you present your company? How do you look when you go out on a, what is affectionately called in the industry the bid walk, or as some of us call it, the cattle call? You know, how do you just look around when the next time you're out there? You'll probably, if there's more than three companies, you'll probably see somebody show up in tennis shoes and a t shirt that uh, looks like it was slept in for the last week and a half. Um, and uh, somebody will say, Well, I just came from the job. Well, you know, one of the things I always did in my early years is I kept an extra suit of clothes in my office so that I could run by, if I was on the job, I could run by the office. And I could change into a suit or at least a sport jacket and an uh, open shirt so that I look presentable to present the image to uh, my prospective customer. So what about that? Let me suggest that you take some time and go through this checklist. Uniforms, equipment, the janitor's closet, your vehicles, your office area, your signage, the grounds, the buildings and grounds, 
and yourself. Run that check. How you doing? Need some improvement? 